What is up everybody? This is Mapes coming at you with the first ever Destiny 2 video on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a weapon review on the Jade Rabbit, which is an exotic scout rifle. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts, showing you a bit of gameplay, and yeah, let's get right into it. So starting off, I'm going to show you all the weapon perks. We have high caliber rounds, we have Zen Moment, and then for the exotic perk we have the Fate of All Fools. Chain precision shots to gain bonus damage on your next body shot and return ammo to the mag. So, if you haven't used this weapon before, typically it does 71 damage to the head and 41 damage to the body. However, if you hit three headshots in a row, your next body shot will do 70 damage. It's either, I think, yeah, it's 70 or 71. Yeah, so it's 70 or 71, which is really nice for a body shot. And then um, those, if you hit your bullet it also returns ammo to the mag i really like the returning ammo to the mag because the mag size is actually really small it's only 10 um, and so if you're playing like a 6v6 game mode and you're trying to get multiple kills like say three or four it's a little difficult to do with just 10 bullets in the mag so that perk really helps a lot with extending your magazine a little bit as far as the stats go before you get this weapon masterworked i believe it's 55 stability i'll have to double check that but yeah, when you get the Masterwork, which is just 250 Crucible kills, your stability goes up a lot. I believe it's 35. For Impact, we have 67, which I think is standard for all the 150 Scout Rifles. Range, we have 85, which is really nice. This The damage drop-off on this weapon is insanely far. I don't know exactly what it is in meters, but I've shot people from probably like 50 60 meters away and it still hits 71 to the head 41 to the body the only gripe or i guess one of the only gripes i have about this weapon is the handling it's only 21 and it feels a little slow at times like especially the sprint to fire which is why you'll see me kind of walking around at times when i see somebody on my radar yeah it's also not super snappy i have mods and then subclass perks that help me out with the handling part but yeah if you don't have any mods or subclass perks it's gonna feel super clunky when you start using it the reload is actually very good i don't really have any complaints about that i mean it could be faster obviously but it's a pretty quick reload for a scout rifle the aim assist i have target acquisition mods so i'm not using just the 60 i don't know what my exact aim assist is however the aim assist does feel nuts at times i'm also playing on controllers so that helps out a little bit too but yeah, you'll see me hit some shots that you probably would not hit if you were playing on mouse and keyboard. The zoom is nice. I mean, it's a primary scout. Like, it doesn't really need to zoom that far. And then airborne effectiveness is solid for a scout rifle. I mean, there's not a lot of times where I'm going to be shooting it, it while I'm in the air, but it's not too bad. And then recoil direction is 100, which is amazing. Yeah, this weapon is extremely stable when you combine Zen Moment, the stability masterwork, and then the recoil direction. With all of that being said, let's get right into the gameplay. Loading into a late game, that kind of sucks. See ya! Like, that's just insane with the masterwork, the stability. Did that guy just... There's totally a guy behind me. Uh. See ya. Like, look at that dude. <laughs> you can shoot it so far. Wait for the flank. What is that guy doing? Dude, that guy was at fucking zero health. How did he not die? Like, this gun's actually insane. It's, it's, it's insane. Like... Oh shit. Why well, I hate solo queue. Damn it, bro. I don't know what that guy's doing. Shit. All right. 17. Not bad for the first game on. All right, here we go. Midtown. This is a good map. Ah, uh, there's the kid. Let's go. All right. All right. What? 
What, what, what's going on? Where, where are my bullets going? <laughs> Stability is nuts. <sighs> How did that bullet hit? Third one. Jeez, dude. This gun is insane. Sweet. Take care of those guys. I will never understand why warlocks just go in the air like that. Yeah, peek again. Yeah, you too. This guy too. Yep. See you later. <laughs> what is he doing? See ya! See ya! Oh, I didn't get that kill. That was a good game. Certainly, certainly. What do we got? 21? Not bad. Okay. I actually really like this map. It's a good long range map. Let's do it. Oh my god. Don't try to fucking snipe me, dude. You too. Fuck you. Yeah, I guess that's another gripe I have about this gun is the magazine size. But, I mean, when it's hitting as hard as it does, like, I guess you can't really complain. Alright, there's two. There's three. Jeez. <laughs> Dude. That came out of left field. Literally left field, like Alright pal. Aye. That shot. What the fuck? Are you serious? Alright, well, I think that's gonna be it for the Jade Rabbit video. I mean overall it's a really solid weapon. I really like it a lot. I guess the only problem is it does not perform well at all close range so if other people are using smgs shotguns whatever you're probably not going to do very well against them but yeah overall it's a good weapon has good stats really like it all right this has been mapes with funky town tv and i will catch y'all on the next one